Blessings and blessings, y'all. What's up? I'm out here in Toronto with this cutie pie, Kingston Raw, and uh, I just got off a of live, and the question came up at least three, four different ways of how to find your purpose. And so I wanted to hop on here and just have a chat about what purpose means to me and how to find it. First and foremost, my belief is that we can never be off purpose. Everything you're doing, everything you're being, everything you're having right now is a part of your purpose. And yeah. sometimes it's like pieces to a puzzle where we don't necessarily understand where the next piece or how it's gonna fit. Or we don't necessarily have the whole picture of the puzzle, but you have a piece to it. And right now, uh, a, a lot of people will have a piece to a puzzle and they're, they're just anxious to get the whole picture. But life, by its very nature, is not fair in that way. It doesn't paint the whole picture for you. It doesn't tell you when you're gonna die. It doesn't tell you when you're gonna have your heart broken and that lead to you meeting somebody else and that person introduces you to this person and you end up moving to Bali and like starting a ashram or whatever it is. Like all of that is a part of the journey. And a lot of us really, when we say, how do I find my purpose? What we're trying to really say is, how do I control life? How do I create a life where I know exactly what's gonna happen and why I'm here? And so my belief is that we have many purposes with an S. It is your duty at any given moment to be present to the presence, present to the miracle that is you and whatever is coming forth. And the best way to do that is to follow your bliss, is to pay attention to what makes your heart smile and do that over and over and over again. Because we live in a vibrational planet, which means that everything is vibrating. Everything has a frequency. And so the frequency of love, joy, abundance, is creative in its very nature. And when you are creating, you are doing what you were meant to do on this planet, meant to be on this planet. We're all creators. In my opinion, God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whatever name is most potent for you, has no off switch. It is only on and it only says yes. So whatever you say, just like that, get it, kick, kick, kick. Show them those feet. These are the feet I eat all the time. <laughs> whatever you say, you want, consciously and unconsciously, the universe will provide that. It will say yes. And so it's your duty to create with your thoughts, your words, and your actions from a place of love, from a place of abundance, from a place of creativity, from a place of pure knowing that who and what you are is a unique emanation of the Most High. That's my truth about you. That's my truth about us. That's my truth about this kid. He's being absolutely authentic in this moment. He does not care that there's a video camera running. There was a moment when you were about five or six when you became a liar. You stopped telling the truth, your truth, about what you were experiencing. You remember as a kid, you would say, someone stinks, or you'd say, you'd see somebody and be like, mommy, she's fat. Or you'd see somebody in a wheelchair and you'd be like, why don't your legs work? After a while, your parents shushed you enough and told you to shut up, consciously and unconsciously, where you stopped telling and speaking your truth. You find your purpose by getting back to what is authentic to you in any given moment. Okay, okay, my baby, right? What you gonna say? What you gonna say? I'm gonna bite you. Where are you trying to go? There's a lot more to this. This is part one. We'll do part two another day. Blessings and blessings. If this supported you in any way, I just, just leave a comment. Any thoughts that are coming up for you, even leave a comment on someone else's comment. Be respectful. But leave a comment on someone else's comment if you feel called to. Like, this is a family, this is a tribe, we do this together, we do this as a family. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice. It's going down in a beautiful, major way. Tell them, Kingston, live love, give love.